Hey everyone, it's Ryan again. Just wanted to get on here and check in, see how everybody's holding up. This is the start of our second week of quarantine, and I know it's a little bit of added stress when the, the, when Governor Baker today announced in Massachusetts that he's ordering a stay at home, uh, not a necessary shelter in place, but a stay at home, uh, non essential, uh, no non essential trips, uh, no non essential businesses can be open, and so that's makes things a little bit tougher. Uh, I'm sure we probably all kind of expected that to happen anyway. Um, but I wanted to share a few comforting words, maybe some words of hope, um, as I've been trying to do uh, once a day throughout the weeks, uh, throughout the week. And uh, this was actually taken from my devotion that I read the other day. And the devotion is is leading up to Easter when we celebrate uh, Jesus risen from the grave. And the devotion was asking, you know, what do we trust in? Do we trust in our own uh, finances? Do we trust our own ingenuity, wisdom, strength to get us through difficult times? Or do we trust in someone who is greater than us? And so uh, I want to read these words of scripture as come from Psalm, from Isaiah 61 uh, verses 1 through 3. And it says this, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn to, and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of, instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. And what I want to focus on is that verse 3 when it says, provide for those who grieve, bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, even before verse 3, at the end of verse 2, it says to comfort all who mourn. And then he's, it says, he will put on us the oil of gladness instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. To trust in Jesus does not mean that everything, you know, is sunshine and rainbows and, and every, not everything works out in my own life. Not everything has worked out the way I'd hoped at times. But to believe in Jesus gives us a hope that there is a better tomorrow. Um, it gives us hope that when things like this happen, like a crisis like this happens, I mean, this is the first time I've ever experienced something like this in my lifetime. Maybe 9-11 was probably the closest thing. But it gives hope to carry on, a hope to keep going. Uh, to, it, it gives me a hope that there is a God who loves me. And when I am, when I'm feeling broken and beat down and, and uh, you know, the tears come to my eyes over what's going on. There's a God who's going to wipe those tears away and he's going to comfort me. Uh, he's going to comfort those who mourn and grieve, who are frustrated, who are stressed. And, you know, it, that's an awesome feeling. Uh, and that gets me up every morning. <laughs> and it gets me, you know, trying to go about some kind of semblance of a routine right now. It gets me uh, get in the shower, put some clothes on, um, and to go about my day and to continue to work and continue to uh, do be there for my family the best I can, to be there for the boys the best I can. And so that's what I hope in. You know, I don't hope in what my bank account says. I don't hope in, you know, what the, what the government says and what our government leaders say. What I hope in is Jesus and what he says. And these words were written by the prophet Isaiah and they were written hundreds of years before Jesus even showed up. But when Jesus showed up, he actually read these words and he basically announced that this savior that the Jews were looking for, that the Israelites were looking for, longing for and hoping for, that savior was right there in front of them. And so that savior is right here in front of us as well. He's, he is not blind to this. He's not deaf to this, what's going on. He's there, he's watching over and he knows the end and we just had a hope in him. So I hope that you can find some comfort in those words. Um, Again, uh, just keep plugging away, uh, praying for you. Uh, let me know how I can pray for you specifically. If you want, send me a message. I'd love to pray for you. And if there's anything you need, uh, just reach out and we'll do the best we can. Hope to see you again soon. And uh, I'll be on here again uh, tomorrow at six. Thanks.